Hello and thanks for watching the Craig's Docks car dock install video. Here's the things that will come with your dock. Just to show you the car dock itself, this is entirely made out of aluminum. Uh, so is this as well. This is all metal. Everything here is metal. The adjustable port blocks aluminum. The, the bolt is steel. But I manufacture all this stuff out of raw materials. As you can see it slides. And this slides as well. Now we're going to set the dock up. This is what you'll have to do when you first get it. Um, you'll have to loosen this this screw right here in the back of the dock. It takes this hex key. And what you want to do is slide your phone in here. You want to line up that port on your phone to the center of the provision that's in the bottom of the dock. Now what you want to do is you put this part up against your phone and you tighten it. Now this doesn't move anymore. Now it's set up to your phone. Because cases and uh, extended batteries, different things will cause this to you know have to move in and out to adjust to your specific telephone. Now what you need to do is grab your adjustable port block and slide your cable in it. And uh, you will now need to take one of the alcohol prep pads I give you and wipe down this surface here. This will prep this area for this this uh, tape. Now what you want to do is pull the liners off of this tape. This is extremely strong so don't worry about this coming off. Uh, you can get it off which I'll demonstrate later in case you ever buy a different case or other phones will actually fit in this. Um, now just go ahead and push this push the center of your cable don't don't touch the block and just push it into your port. Now all you do is push this tight so it sticks and now you take your hex, hex Allen key and just snug it up. You don't want to tighten this too much, it'll go right through the cable. But this will hold this holds it more than it would ever be needed to be held. Now it's done. Now you just when you want to pull it off. There, it's all just to your phone now. And just when you put it in, it's docked. With the extra port block I tape I gave you, it's the white tape. What you'd do is you'd go ahead and you'd take this this screw out. I'm not going to do it. In uh then pull your cable out with your phone removed, of course. And then you'll twist this block. Uh, the tape does not have as much strength by twisting it as it does in and out. I mean, that's in and out's the only important uh, part of when you're docking it, which is great because uh, you can remove these later. And what you do is, after you took the cable out, you just twist this real hard. You might have to get a pair of pliers to twist it. And then Go ahead and uh, pull the tape off the port block, or if it's stuck to the dock itself, get that all off of there. It just you could just get it off with your fingernail, and then go ahead and uh, clean the port block again with some alcohol and the bottom of the dock, and go ahead and reinstall the tape to the port block, and you're ready for a whole new reset. Here's the suction cup. Now you do the same thing. It screws in. 
again it just operates the same exact way as the other one um, this can angle towards you away from you and up and down as you can see if you find that this part on the back of here is not to your liking um, it is plastic it might be hard to get your fingers back there all you need to do is just take this part off this is a much better piece and it goes right on here maybe somebody that travels a lot uh, they rent cars and they want to use the same dock they could have this mounted in their car at home and take the dock with them and the suction cup uh, on the road you know what you could try first is something like this and twist it which it's twisted I could take it right off of there this is specially made for doing this this wire and put it behind here where the adhesive is keep it as close to the back of this plate as you can because you don't want to cut into your dash because this stuff can mar your dash if you're not careful just go slow and what you do is you just use it like a saw and finished as you can see I cut basically through the center of the dead easy now what you'll do is take your finger now and go ahead and pull this off remove this off the back here you might need a razor blade or something um, it doesn't really matter if you cut into the metal somewhat just get it all off and then clean it with an alcohol pad and replace the adhesive now with your phone in your dock go ahead and look around on your dash with the phone in it because this will make a difference uh, I didn't do this actually when I first put this in here or actually I didn't pull the column shift down to see if that was going to affect anything but you want to move it around see this plate here it doesn't matter which way you have it you could have it up or you can have it across diagonally whatever your phone is going to lean with the same radius as your dash because this stuff is all square make sure you go ahead and pivot your phone make sure nothing you're not going to have any problems you can also go like this make sure if you're going to wrap it around here put it on the back side of this part that way it doesn't get in between the dock and this adjustable dog bone this stuff is sensitive to oils and silicones and stuff and a lot of people use different things on their dash to gloss it up or protect it and whatnot you're, want, you're going to want to clean that real good so use some sort of uh, ammonia windex or whatever you're going to use and you know I don't you know you, it just depends where you're going to put it make sure you don't try to stick it to like a dashboard or something with the with that textured surface because it, it doesn't it won't stick very good to that you'll need to get one of those dashboard discs for the suction cup if you're going to want to put it up there because that uses a whole different kind of adhesive and then go ahead and you clean it up and the last step would be to go ahead and use an alcohol pad to get whatever final is left on there and then dry it off with a with a dry cloth what you want to do is go ahead and peel these liners off and you can remove this if it's in your way and go ahead and stick it on here and this stuff is not at full strength for maybe 48 hours but believe me that's that's plenty to hold a phone on there probably hold a bowling ball on there then go ahead and remove your phone from your dock and put this put your dog bone back on just push it all the way on and then go ahead and 
twist your dock back on. This will thread easy, so, you know, if you're cross-threading it, just be careful. You, you don't want to do that because then it will ruin the threads. See, it's, it's fairly easy. Now, this, this dog bone would go counterclockwise to tighten against the back of your dock. This is what locks it, as you can see. See, it's, it's locked in that position. And see, when the ports are new, they, they're a little bit sticky, so, you know, just go ahead and tap it. It's, it's locked in there now. This doesn't, this doesn't move. I mean, this thing is sturdy as it could be. Um, now, you want to go ahead and, uh, if, you, if you want to use it in landscape, you just, you just reach behind here and just, you just push the, there's that dog bone behind there, and you just, just barely crack it. It would be clockwise to loosen it. Then you just loosen it, and then counterclockwise locks it back where, into this position. As you can see, um, it's, it's sturdy. I mean, it's not going anywhere. I give you these these clips so you can see I have one installed here. It was from before. It just depends. I give you two of them and then the wire cable ties. Uh, if you want to tie the cable up under your dash or you just want to scrunch it all up and tie it in one little place. Again, you might want to route your cable different. You want to, might want to bring it over top of this and bring it down like this. You know, it, it just depends. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you don't put it between the back of the dock and the dog bone. You can put it put it towards the dash. That way the cable doesn't get uh, caught in between there. When you get in your vehicle, you just go ahead and uh, you go ahead and dock it and uh, there you go. Now the optional accessory is this suction cup, which you don't get with the dock unless you order this extra. Um, what you do is go ahead and use this. You can use the plastic dial that comes on here, or you can take it all. You have to take it off if you're going to use this. And go ahead and screw this all the way on, and then go ahead and put your dock on there, of course. And then, you know, of course, it's a suction cup, so go ahead and stick it on your window. And, oops. There, it's, it's stuck. And you'll need to adjust it however you want to adjust it. And then tighten this down. And then this, this can angle towards you, however you want to do it. Um, and then you can... Uh, use it up here on the suction cup if you so choose and there that's that's that